just he's on an airplane. And we leave in, I don't know, like half an hour or something like that. And I'm so excited. Oh my god. I get to be home in like six hours. I'm coming to you, Seattle. I'm coming. I just took your hat off. You did. Boo! <laughs> hey guys, happy Thursday. So today I am going to go to school with Autumn for about half the day. So I won't be filming very much because I don't really want to film at their school because that'd be kind of weird. Um, and then I think we're going shopping for more cosplay because Autumn has not finished her cosplay yet. So, um... That's the plan for today. Um, right now, we're just getting ready to go on the ferry so that I can go meet up with Adam at school. So, see you soon. Good morning, everyone. It is Friday, and I am about to start getting ready for my Agent Carter cosplay. And I thought I would maybe do a little, I don't know, makeup fast forward run through so you guys could join along so I have to figure out the setup for that but um I've got all my makeup here and my hair color and let's see if I can do this in an hour to con kind of we're on the way to the bus to go to con but we're super late so my mom's kind of mad at us and we're getting coffee yeah mom our mom's getting coffee for us so that we're energized for con because lord knows it takes a lot of energy yeah yeah so i'm doing the concealer thing autumn's doing the concealer thing Steve Rogers does not have hay candy. no he doesn't yes he does you do um the plan for today is we don't know what the plan is, pretty much. We're kind of planning around Haley Atwell because she's only here today and so she has her panel and her signings and her photo ops today. And since my mom bought me a photo op with her, we kind of have to like plan around that, which will be fun. Because then we can get her to sign our picture with her. Exactly. Um, but that's... <coughs> gross that's what that is um so that's kind of the plan for today hopefully we'll meet some other people maybe like kaylee from firefly is going to be there so we're thinking possibly doing her today probably in the morning since we're not doing anything in the morning and she has a signing probably at like 11 or something anyway we'll figure out the schedule when we get to con i just wanted to do a little check-in um my phone kind of ran out of storage when i was doing my makeup and stuff so you get like half of that because that's fun uh this is the final look. Look at how it looks. Ta-da! <laughs> um, I just look like a nerd, so... But that's kind of the point, you know? Yeah, like, that's kind of the, the goal. Um, yeah, so... That's it for right this second. We will see you when we get to Con. Bye! We're at Comic-Con! Let's see, who have we met? We've met... Jewel? And... What? Someone from Lost Girl, which I do not watch, but they watch, so that was exciting. She was very nice. Uh, and then in like an hour, look at you, you're so cute. Guess who else is here? This is Ian. Say hi, Ian. Ian has 
never debuted on your channel. No, he has not debuted on my channel before. Uh, Haley's photo op is in like, no, her panel is in like an hour-ish. Also, um, we passed Tyler Hecklin and he's literally, oh my god, like, heaven above shined down on his face when he called? smiled. You know that like, uh, that really attractive like Greek dude? Adonis. Adon Adonis? Adonis? Anyway, we saw him and he was glorious. And I've seen Haley Atwell and I think we made eye contact and it was like, amazing so i'm really excited to meet her and uh i will check in later bye Grant Imahara, and I am so honored to be able to moderate this panel for you today. In recent times, it's a great time to be a comic book fan. Marvel has been doing a great job. They've got a lot of properties out there, a lot of characters, and among all of those new shows, Perhaps the most well-loved of all of them on ABC <laughs> is Marvel's Agent Carter. And now it's my honor to bring out in her first appearance since Agent Carter premiered, Peggy Carter herself, Haley Atwell. Looks like you filled the whole audience. Wow, this is amazing. It's amazing to be here. Thanks for coming, guys. She, if she has to, she will get in there and she will kick someone's ass. Yeah, well, unfortunately, I'm not as skillful as Peggy. And the first rehearsal, I managed to kick the stuntman in the balls. <laughs> And I thought that would be the end of it. I thought I would have learned my lesson and seen the pain etched on his face. But no, that happened six times. <laughs> but it was really enjoyable. <laughs> I let out of some steam. It was great. <laughs> Twice is a coincidence. Six times is a pattern. Oh, man. There was a member of crew that I hit on the back with a lead pipe by accident. There was an assistant director that I kept kicked a chair into. I mean, it was, I was like a, it was crazy that they gave me that much responsibility. Um, but here, here I am, so I live to tell the tale. I don't know about those guys. This was on Halloween, by the way. This is not on the set. Oh, okay. I think you can see it's, it's a genuine, spontaneous kind of um, explosion of, of surprise and, and horror in his face there. Um, I just I had this, this big thing on day one of that I wanted to create an environment for everyone to not only get on and do their best work, but also have the most fun as possible. And one way that I like to have fun is playing a lot of pranks on people and just making them scream. So, um, so I, I did that to James on Halloween, and we, we, we did that quite a lot to each other. The writers got involved, the producers got involved, and, it, and at any opportunity, um, they, people would just jump out at people and scare the hell out of them. It was quite something. Um, I hadn't seen him with his shirt off, and I think that the, the producers must have done this on purpose until the big reveal. And I'm quite an instinctive and impulsive person. So 
when I had to come and, and ask, I think my line was, um, how do you feel? I just, the, I don't know what, it, what inspired me. Well, I know what inspired me. Well. <laughs> but I just kind of touched it and just went, oh my God, it's real. It's amazing. And it's, it's real, ladies. There was no CGI. I mean, that is how he is. That is how he looks. So I, we, call it the, we call it the man boo. And I, I, touched, I touched his man boo. <laughs> Now that's the <laughs> song. Have you had any interesting repercussions from that? Are you, are you talking about from the, the DMV? When I, yeah. So I, I had I had like an hour at lunch break, and, and I, I really needed to get my my uh, picture taken again, but I didn't have time to change. So I was wearing a harness, Spanx, tights, the pencil skirt, the shirt, the wig, the lipstick, everything. And I, and I had like this big raincoat on me and uh, we kind of <laughs> really quickly DMV got my photograph taken in it. Little did they know that it's a wig and not my own hair. Um, and yeah, it's, my, it's now on my driving license. <laughs> he has to make the choice of what to do with Steve's blood. Whereas the entire rest of the series, you see her as a super capable, super strong, nothing can hurt me. And yet, there are vulnerable moments. Yeah, they were my favorite moments, and they were the moments that I really uh, kind of highlighted with the writers and producers that I wanted to show, because it's great to see someone kicking ass, but it's also great to see them being real, so we can all go, oh, they did that too, and oh, they find that difficult, but they still manage to get up and be great in other aspects of their life. I think that's very inspiring. In, re in real life, who should be friends with? Yeah. I don't know, Hillary Clinton? <laughs> Beyonce? Maybe. Yeah. yeah! I think B. I think Peggy and Beyonce would just, they'd go on so well. They'd, they'd be BFFs. They would definitely be, yeah. They, they, yeah. We'd, we'd show each other some good moves. i teach her how to catch grapes in her mouth and, you know, definitely. Just, I think, I think, uh, yeah, it's another the great thing about Peggy. She's not intimidated by other women. She loves other women. I think she'd have lots of strong female characters in her life that would give her support and that she would support too. Thank you. If you have one. If you don't, uh, 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 Is it called Black Velvet? Is that the song? <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Or Atlanta Miles. So, yeah, and also kind of, I, I'm a massive cabaret fan. And, um, and I, also, I also adored the Rocky Horror Show when I was there. <laughs> so they would, they would be those two, yeah. They're, they're my <laughs> By the way, do you do you see a lot of people cosplaying your, your character? I, I see them today. They look phenomenal. They look better than I do. I mean, is that a little strange to see? No, it's it's um it's incredibly humbling that they've made that commitment to um, they put all that effort in. I think it's fantastic. I mean, it's uh, amazing to see the people who are watching the show, and of course, cause I. I don't get to see you guys, you get to see me on TV, but I have no idea what you guys look like, so it's nice that you guys are here, I can get a sense of who's liking the show. Have courage and be kind. Yeah. But I was wondering if you have a similar motto in your life uh, that kind of guides you in dark time. Mine is, uh, do no harm, but take no shit. <laughs> can I have that? I want that. <laughs> I think I want that one too. I just got a new one. That's mine now. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, no, it's, it's awesome. I, I also, my, my mom always told me to be mindful of my heart so that my emotions don't completely carry me away, you know, just to, to be, kind of just to be smart about what my feelings were. And, um, but I, I love, I have a, um, a locket that says courage on one side and kindness on the other because I, I thought it was such a beautiful message and I had such a great time doing that job that I wanted to remember the sentiment of the whole piece. And I think it's, I think it's kind of underrated kindness. I think there's this sense that we've got to be, you know, badass and we've got to be aggressive and you've got to be assertive. But, but to have compassion and to have kindness in a world where there seemingly is so little of it on a day-to-day -day basis does take courage. 
and it, that's what I'm interested in cultivating with the people that I meet. At. Although someone did tell me that I look just like Paddington Bear. <laughs> I hope you so kicked her ass. It was okay. amazing. No, I was like, no, I, I mean, Peggy would have kicked his ass, but I was like, oh my god, you're right. <laughs> Frank, Chris, and Diddy Spring. <laughs> oh, I do. Should I do Chris? Um, I don't, I don't, I tell you what we did a lot. We drank a lot of beer, we played computer games. <laughs> it's all coming out now. I'm just so not cool. Um, yeah, we were like, yeah, we were kind of like brother, sister. It was a very silly sibling kind of rivalry. We'd fight a lot, but that was, you know, that was all part of the fun. And uh, I'm much better at charades than he is. Let me put that out there right now. <laughs> wow. Um, if anyone else knows the answer to that, can you tell me? I'm still, I'm still trying to work it out myself. Um, I don't, I don't really know what the answer is. I think it's always uh, helped me to be inquisitive and curious and never feel that you like. Right now, I know who I am. Now I can just get on with my life. I think that life is is. As much of a cliche that it sounds, it is a journey, and it is a, is constant exploration and constantly trying to figure out who you are, what you like, what you dislike, what your beliefs are, what your values are. But the exciting thing is, is that we we change, and I would never want to feel that I'm the same person today as I'm going to be in ten years. I hope that I'm a little bit wiser. I hope I have more fun, even than I'm having now. I hope that I can have a bit more compassion and. I, um, you know, I, I hope that I can form long-lasting relationships, but I think it's, it's just knowing that, that life changes and that we have to change with that. That's all I can say, really. My very soft lips. He smells really good. He's really hygienic. And Grant, I grew up watching you, so I love you. Oh, thank you. And I was wondering if maybe you'd sing a little bit. No! Maybe if, we, if everybody else sings along. Okay, I've got a question for you. Do you have any vodka? <laughs> See, I would wait. Because then I'll sing it. <laughs> That's the point of karaoke, right? Where you, you get to a point where you think you're amazing at singing, and then you can do anything. So Black Velvet doesn't come out until like 8 p.m., maybe 9? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll see you back at the hotel at the bar. <laughs> We're on our way to go meet Haley Atwell, and I'm so excited. She's so cute. We just saw her panel, and it was like the cutest, cutest thing ever. And so we're on our way to go to the photo op, and we are gonna meet her in like it's probably like an hour because it takes forever to like get do the photo op line. But I'm so excited. So, so we're home. Um, I don't know if I ever mentioned this, but we're not allowed to have like our phone like camera video recording out on like the celebrity floor because. They don't want you like taking like candid photos of the celebrities because then like the people who get the photo ops they still have to pay for the photo ops and then it's a big whole mess and they anyway it's a big deal. Um, so we're home now. Um, there was a lot of stuff that happened. Um, we saw Haley Atwell. <laughs> Adam's watching um, Parks and Rec in the other room, so that's what that is. Um, but so we. Got to meet Haley Atwell in the photo op, and it was super quick. I mean, the like actual photo op was. We had to stand in line for like, how long do you think we stand it stood in line? Haley. So many. <laughs> um. Well, her panel. Well, okay. So we went to her panel, obviously, and I I, I took some stuff from that. Um. And then her signing, or her photo op was like literally right afterwards. So like you got out of the panel and then you had to go up the escalator into the line. So the line was like full and crazy. So we were kind of back of the line and, um, which, you know, meant that we were standing in line for like, mm, an hour, an hour and a half maybe. Um, and it was, you know, super quick once you kind of got to the photo op. Um, they kind of were just trying to get people to go through them as fast as they possibly could. So, um, it was like, you know, you took the photo and then it was next. But as we were walking up, Haley was like, oh my, like in her accent, which 
you know, I can't do. But she was like, oh my god, you guys look so amazing. And it was so cute. And I was just like so happy. And she was so, like, you know, sweet. And, um... Like, even though, like, she didn't say very much, she's just very cute, and the picture that we took is very cute, and, um, I was very happy to do it, and, yeah, it's very exciting. And then, after that, after the photo op, we had to get straight into her signing line, because I wanted her to sign the photo that I took with her, and then that meant that, like, her line was already super long because people were already queuing and so instead of being in like one section of her line there were three sections of her line and so we were in the last section and it was crazy and they said that we'd probably have to wait in line for like two and a half hours but it was really only like an hour like they actually went way faster than they thought they were going to like one of the minions was talking about how they were going way faster than they were going like then they thought they were gonna go which was awesome um when we actually got up to like say like hi and like get her to sign the photo she again told me that I looked amazing and I was like well I'm just like so happy that you're here and you're so awesome and I can't even not even imagine how like overwhelming this can be and she's like no well just everyone's been so nice and I'm just like oh she's such a sweetheart she's such a cutie and then we after Haley uh, we met up with um, Autumn and people because they had gone to see the Tyler Hecklin panel which I didn't get to see because um, I was in line for, your hair looks so nice, Autumn. I dyed my hair so I can be styles tomorrow. It's weird, I kind of look emo. It's not really like my natural color, but no. I kind of It looks fine. Match. It looks better when it's dry. When it was wet, it looked like okay. gray. It was weird. Um, anyway, uh, while Autumn was in the Tyler Hercom photo, or not photo, panel, that's when I was in line for Haley's signing. Um, anyway, and then, um, after Haley's signing, I went, um, I met up with, with them, because they were in line for Tyler, because they were going with some friends to, like, get Tyler to sign something for them, and so, I went with them, and it was really great, and, um, I, I got him to sign a picture for me, and he was really sweet, and he thought, he was like, I, like, walked up, and he's like, have I seen you before somewhere, and I was like, no, and then he um, was like, I feel like, I feel like I, like, recognize you, and I was like, no, and he's like, well, you look great, and I was like, oh my god, thanks, can I just mention that he was, like, really hot, like, holy shit, he's so attractive, um, but anyway, um, he said that, and then I was like, well, like, everybody's kind of dressed like this, because there were so many Agent Carters, um, there, and he's like, no, I just feel like I, like, know you, and I was like, no, but thank you, I guess. Anyway, he was very sweet. Um, and then we went over to Marina... Sirtis? Thank you. I was like, I was gonna say Citrus, and I was like, that's not actually her last name. Um, and we stood in line for her, which was, like, really quick, uh, because there was, like, one person in front of us, and she was really, she was, she was very sweet. Um, and then while we were walk walking away, she saw Autumn, because Autumn has a couple hickeys on their neck, um, that they didn't do a very good job of hiding with a concealer, and so, um, <laughs> they look like this. Yeah. So, <laughs> Marina saw that, and she, um, as we were all walking away, pulled Autumn back, was like, no, 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 come here, come here, and then, like, touched their hickey and was like this is not cool this is not okay and it was so funny and then after that cause she was so I mean you know and then we went away or whatever and then after that we went to Tyler again because he didn't have a line and so we were like well let's just go talk to Tyler again and he like asked us about like school like we were t he like asked us for all oh also I got a hug I got a hug from him the first time I asked for a hug um and, like, the table's really high, so you could just kind of, like, lean over and give him a hug. It was really awkward. Um, but he was very cute. Anyway, so we went back in line, because Autumn wanted a hug, because I had gotten a hug. And, um, I was, I was talking to the minions, the people who were, like, working with them. Um, because I had, like, kind of had a conversation with them while I was waiting in line for Tyler the first time. And they were all very nice. Um, and I was just kind of like, hey, we're back, haha. -ha. And they were very sweet. All the minions are very sweet. Um, I love, like, talking to them because they always have, like, such great stories. And, you know, 
I feel like, you know, they're kind of the un unsung heroes of Khan, so shout out to them because they're really great, and um, we really appreciate all your hard work, because I'm sure it's insane to do what you're doing. Anyway, um, and then we talked to H Tyler about, like, he, like, literally, like, asked us about, like, school, and he was like, oh, what do you do in school? Like, what, what's your favorite thing? And I was like, oh, you're in school in Maryland. Like, ha, ha, this is so cool. And then he was, like, literally asked, like, all of us, because there were, like, four of us, and he's like, oh, what do you do? Where do you go to school? What do, what's, like, your favorite subject? And it was just so sweet. He was such a sweetheart. Um... Yeah, and that, and that was pretty much all we did. Um, we walked around the floors a little bit, but my feet are so bad that I was like, mm, you know. Also, I have some homework that I was going to do, but I haven't actually done yet, so that's kind of fun. So, that's pretty much what we've done today. Um, I think we're probably just going to watch some of Parks and Rec. i got to take a shower because I have so much hairspray in my hair right now, and I want to get all my makeup off. Um, and then I'm probably going to go to bed, so that's it for Saturday. Uh, or Friday, it's Friday. Whew. Um, that's it for today. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!